Welcome to another edition of Currency Insights and today's topic, Sustainability by Durability of Banknotes. Today I have Dr. Christoph Menge here with me, who is Manager of R&D and Technology for Substrates and Print. From what we've just seen, Christoph, I assume you like turtles. Yes, um, indeed. Turtles are very interesting and fascinating animals. And I'm not sure if you know, but turtles are among of the species with the longest lifespan, up to 190 years. And one reason for this is their smart concept of protection. They have two layers, the so-called turtle shells, which protects on the one side the upper part of the body against hostile attacks from animals and the like, and also the lower part of the body, the soft tissue, which is important because, of course, they move across rough grounds and need to be protected. So that's indeed a smart concept. But why is all this of relevance when talking about banknotes? Well, just like any other industry, also the currency industry needs to offer sustainable solutions to reduce its environmental footprint. And why not learn from nature which we actually want to preserve and sustain. In fact, it's quite simple. The longer a banknote lasts, the more sustainable it is. So this is quite obvious. But the real challenge, however, is that on the one hand, you want to offer a durable banknote, but on the other hand, you have to make sure that the security elements stay intact. So similar as the turtle ages so gracefully. To come a bit more to the point, Visual elements like the watermark, the foil, and also the printed elements are crucial to combat counterfeits. So we have to find the best solution for durability on the one hand, but also for security elements to stay intact on the other hand. So similar as the turtle, which managed to age so gracefully, we have to do the same with our banknotes. And we have developed two core concepts to do this within GND is called hybrid advance and long life. Both solutions are scalable, so we are able to introduce novel security features on the one hand and also improve durability when needed if the circulation conditions are very harsh. Do you have any qualifiable data how such a banknote compared to a standard one in the market? Yeah, of course we have. So we derive data from circulations from our customers where both substrates were circulated. And the result is quite impressive. So hybrid lasts as three times as long as cotton, so comparable to any polymer-based banknotes. While with long life, we could achieve lifetimes up to two longer than, than cotton. But we don't stop here because obviously we, in our D side, we cannot wait three years for our development. So we develop tests to mimic the circulation conditions in real world, similar like the tire industry does, for instance. And with this equipment, we are able to mimic and foresee how our substrates really behave in the future. And this, at the end, of course, speeds up the process of R&D significantly. That's indeed a lot of research and development, Crystal. Can you wrap up for our customers the benefits when implementing these technologies? Yes, you sure can. So in fact, you don't have to choose between the one or the other. You can have the best of two worlds, maximum security on the one hand and maximum durability on the other hand. To make it simple, it's less reprints, better efficiency, improved security, and at the end, excellent sustainability. And in fact, if you come back to the turtles, I think it inspires us that we also learn from nature and we were able to adapt this fascinating method of protection in our products. We're never able to mimic nature fully, but at least we did it as good as we could. Wow, Christoph, I'm really impressed. And it's great to see that such a slow moving animal inspires a big step into sustainability of the banknote manufacturing sector. So thank you for this interview thank and thank you for joining us and please check out our next episode on Currency Insights.